We have major game updates catapulting its way into our faces, so let's not waste any more time and talk about the incredible things Guild Wars 2 is getting ready to do. Here we go. Arguably the biggest barrier to raiding and endgame content is the difficulty, also learning, of course, the damn fights. Well, ArenaNet has heard and has responded to embolden your hopes. <laughs> With the upcoming patch, raids will now become noticeably easier. The embolden mode will cycle through one of the seven raid wings, offering increased damage, HP, and healing output for each raid wipe that occurs. This stacks up against an individual boss up to 100% more HP, 50% more damage, 50% more healing output. Once the boss is killed, it resets. Challenge modes are excluded and certain achievements are locked when under this game mode. Keep that in mind. Strikes have been made clear to be the future of Guild Wars 2 core end game content and they are now beefing up the rewards for them. Each strike will now offer you double the amount of gold when you finish that strike, per weekly of course. Also weekly challenge mode completions will give you some ASS, I gotta be careful saying this one. There's also an infusion being added, the Imperial Everbloom Infusion. This can drop by completing a challenge mode strike up to four chances per week, or an account bound version being purchased by completing all of End of Dragons challenge modes. Major class changes are coming your way, and I am sorry warriors and rangers, your squad uniqueness is out the window. Spotter and banners are now being reworked to provide boons instead of unique buffs. In PvE, Fury boon is now increased to 25, not 20%. Tempest will now have a new way to support by their reworked Lucid Singularity trait. A clarity Tempests are now a thing. Engineers have seen a significant change to power builds, especially the traits that were limited by range like High Caliber and No Scope. Guardians get some Signet buffs. That yay? Chronomancers can now choose between quickness or alacrity dictated by their Grandmaster trait, as well as increasing the application radius of said boons. Necromancer's Warhorns allows them to yell at you louder to make you feel better, increasing the healing output. Ranger Spirits provide boons now and allow Rangers to opt into providing alacrity as well. Revenants will see increased healing through the Centaur stance, and Heralds will now offer group quickness. Thief's Shadow Arts trade line will now be updated to provide bo better boon options, specifically looking at you, Spectre Elite Specialization. Warriors, as mentioned, now provide boons with their banners, Bye Bye Banner Slave, although they will offer quickness with the appropriate traits and abilities. Lastly, some quality of life changes. You can now change the contrast of your cursor in-game. You won't have to worry about losing it in the mix of all those bright lights. You will now no longer need to repair your items when you die, instead using the anvil will grant you a small bonus to your health and defense. Now this only works in PvE and Worldly World, so sorry PvP. Lastly, there's an improved visuals with the boundaries inside instance stories. If you are wandering off in the wrong direction, you won't get instant booted anymore, it'll just push you away and tell you no. No more lost progress. Lots of fun things to look forward to. ArenaNet is really learning from what their community wants and what other games have been offering. If you want to see what ArenaNet should steal from WoW, click this video right here. As always, stay caffeinated, folks.